exploring the habit of making more disciples, it's important to remember how Luke ends Acts 2, 42 to 47. He says, the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. Is it really any wonder if life is lived in the way that he's just described, that actually more people are drawn to Jesus? And maybe in these days we should not be surprised if in revisiting these timeless godly ways of being Christian, we find more being added to our numbers as we follow Jesus in this way. A lot of research has shown that if we want to make more disciples, we actually need to plant more churches. Two years ago, we got called to this pastorate in West Thamesmead, South East London. And the call was to uh, plant a church with the express intention of making disciples. <laughs> It, it talks about the adventure of discipleship and we've seen something of that adventure today in that 10 believers got baptised and, and four children. And it was a wonderful occasion with lots of people there, lots of people witnessing. But just at this moment, They've come to faith and they've given their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ. When it comes to making more disciples, as well as living the kind of life that Luke describes in Acts 2, there are of course many approaches and resources that help us. So the Alpha Course or Christianity Explored or the resources produced by Unlock can all be helpful. Our strategy for making more disciples in West Hemsmead is the three Bs. Um, to bless people, to help them to know they belong and then in turn hopefully that they'll come to believe. I think making more disciples is critical for the individual disciples themselves so that they come to know Jesus and then um, we pray that we will through the Holy Spirit know that they'll be equipped to reach out and to in turn bless others and to serve God in whatever way he calls them to. Whether we call them fresh expressions of church or emerging church or new monastic communities doesn't matter too much. It's more about creating these healthy communities in which people can come to know the Jesus who loves them and gave his life for them too.